Hello everyone. Now, we are going to talk about how to debit in credit and where an account title should be entered. First, what are debit and credit? Debit records all of the money flowing into an account while credit records all of the money flowing out of an account. Para mas mabilis niyong maunawaan, ang debit ay ang pagpasok ng pera o gamit sa ating account. At ang credit naman ang paglabas ng pera at gamit sa ating account. In this video, we are explaining the definition of credit and debit. Debit and credit are words used to reflect the duality or double-sided nature of all financial transactions. In finance, a debit has the opposite meaning of credit and vice versa. A debit account is an account where the balance of the receivables is negative with respect to the total amount owed, while in a credit account, the amount due is greater than the balance owing. An overdraft facility allows one to spend money that has not been received into one's bank account. This will incur fees whether it is a debit or credit facility. However, there is no clear-cut distinction between different kinds of accounts in bank and other financial institution. Therefore, they are seen treating all accounts as both debit and credit. It's tempting to treat debit and credit card transactions as equivalent and charge it no matter what. And for low cost, smaller transactions, you can get away with it. But it's not for it for larger purchases or anything that you need to budget for. For both merchants and customers, the choice between debit and credit has enormous consequences. Debit transactions are safer, cheaper, faster, and more transparent than credit transactions and they provide a much better experience all around. In an accounting system, the transactions are recorded in two various aspects. One is credit and another is debit. Debit is known as an entry in accountings. It is basically an entry that records an amount that is recorded on the left-hand side of the accounts. Debit in an account shows an addition to the account of assets or expenses. In other words, debit denotes a reduction in a liability account. Debit is defined as an entry in the accounting system that denotes a reduction in liabilities and an increase in assets. Talking about fundamental accounting, the entries are classified into two different segments, debits and credits. Debits are always balanced by credit entries. Credit has many meanings in the financial world. But credit is generally defined as a contract agreement in which a borrower receives a sum of money or something of value and repays the lender at a later date, generally with interest. So first, what you have to remember, that debit is always on the left side, and credit is always on the right side. Kahit anong account title pang yung gamitin, kahit asset man ito, o kahit revenue man, o kahit expenses, and so on, parating nasa left side si debit, at palaging nasa right side si credit sign. Atinding tandaan, hindi porket debit ay addition at kapag credit ay deduction. Kaya dapat nating tandaan ang awiler. Debit at debit side, asset, withdrawal, expenses, kapag nababawasan ang tatlong yan ay credit side mo. And for credit side are liabilities, equity, and revenue. At kapag naman sila ay nadadagdagan ay debit side mo. Pag-usapan naman natin ang debit side. Meron tayong tinatawag na current asset and non-current asset. Sa current asset, 
ay nakapaloob dito ang cash, cash equivalents, accounts receivable, notes receivable, inventories, supplies, and prepaid expense. Sa non-current asset naman ay property, plant, and equipment, then intangible assets. So withdrawal, the owner's withdrawal account is, is debited when the owner's withdraws cash from the business. The withdrawal account has a normal debit balance as it reduces the capital balance of the owners and is an expense for the company. Expenses Sa expenses naman ay nakapaloob dito ang cost of sales, salaries expense, utilities, utilities expense, rent expense, supplies expense, insurance expense, and interest expense. Dumako naman tayo sa credit side. Sa liabilities tulad ng assets, meron din siyang current and non-current liabilities. Sa current liabilities, ay nakapaloob naman ang account payables, notes payable, unearned revenue, accrued liabilities. Dito naman ay pasok ang salaries payable, utili utilities payable, interest payable, and taxes payable. Sa so, non-current liabilities naman ay mortgage payable and bond payable. Sa so, equity naman, owner's equity has a normal balance of a credit. Therefore, income statement account that increase owner's equity have credit normal balance and accounts that decrease owner's equity have debit normal balance. When a company earns money, it records revenue which increases owner's equity. At last, ang revenue. The normal balance for revenue accounts are credit. They are increased by, by a credit on the accounts while decreased by debits. Increase on the other hand has a normal balance of the debit which could be increased by a debit on the account while decreased by credits. Sa aming pagdi-discuss about sa debit and credit, kami ay kumuha ng mga aring gawing example sa aming pagtatalakay upang lubos niyong maunawaan kung ano ang debit and credit. John Smith receive a cash from customer. Ang cash ay debit at ang service revenue naman ay credit dahil siya ay nag-service. Purchase additional office furniture on account from RG Company. In this trans transaction naman, John Smith purchased additional office furniture on account from RG Company. It means the office equipment will be na debit side because John Smith purchased it from RG Company. And accounts payable is na credit side because John Smith will pay it on account. Receive cash from clients on account. In this transaction, John Smith received a cash from clients on account. That's why cash is in the debit side. It means napapasok ito kay John Smith. And the accounts receivable naman is in the credit side. Paid cash for newspaper advertisement. In this transaction, John Smith paid the cash for newspaper advertisement. Advertising expense will be in the debit side because we paid it. We paid it eh. That's why ito ay papasok sa atin. And the cash will be in the credit side because ito ay lalabas sa atin. Dahil tayo ay magbabayad ng advertising expense. John Smith paid for supplies using cash. Kaya ang supplies ay debit dahil puwasok ito sa atin at nag increase ang ating asset at ang cash naman ay credit. Dahil tayo ay nagbayad, it means ito ay lumabas. Receive cash from clients on account. Is, is it just the same transaction dated on January 8? John Smith receive a cash from clients on account. That's why cash is in the debit side. It means napapasok ito kay John Smith. And the accounts receivable naman is in the credit side. Paid telephone bill for April. John Smith paid the telephone bill using cash. That's why telephone bill is in the debit. Because ito ay pumasok sa atin. At ang cash is credit. Because we paid it. Kaya ito ay lumabas. Paid electric bill for April. John Smith paid the electric bill using cash. That's why electric bill is in the debit. Dahil ito ay pumasok sa atin at ang cash is credit because we paid it. At ito ay lumabas. John received cash from the company as his salary. 
in this transaction, John Smith received his salary from the company. That's why cash is on the debit side. Because the company gave John salary and the salary expense is in the credit side.